everybody. We're back. You all know my first guest is the resident impressionist on Saturday Night Live. Now he can also be seen in Scary Movie 3. Here he is as California Governor-elect Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is very troubling for me because I'm not good at this job. <laughs> and I am a menace to California. For example, two days ago, I put together my first budget to close the deficit and control the state spending and this and that. And it, it turned out it would be, instead make the, the deficit bigger to 117 billion or something like this. <laughs> and that is three times, three times more than the Great Davis. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is sort of funny when you think about it. Look at him, Daryl Hammond. <laughs> what was that? Are you all right? I'm sucking down that free coffee you got back there, brother. Very nice. You got water all under your chin there. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's Pull right. yourself together, my friend. Um, <laughs> that, that Arnold impression, it's, uh, it's chillingly mm. accurate, that mm. Arnold impression. Mm. And, and he is now, he, it's fun when he interjects humor into his speeches, isn't it? He because does opening remarks now when he does his speeches. Like um, a little comedy <clears throat> routine. Well, it's, it's a sort of a funny thing happened to me on the way here today. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm actually writing opening remarks for him. For, for Schwarzenegger. For Mr. Yeah. Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, 25 years ago, I never would have imagined in my wildest dreams how weird it can be out there. <laughs> yes, it is weird out there. The other day I'm going to the airport, they went through my emotional baggage. <laughs> yes, emotional baggage over there. The guy's looking in there. Your daddy didn't like you. Your mother was a drinker. The cops got the leader was putting the cookies in the pants. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. It is weird out there. Yeah. It makes more sense than anything I've said tonight, so <laughs> I can't fault the guy. Oh, well. You had, uh, you had... Kelly Ripa on the show last yeah last week hosting yeah. and I'm just curious uh, it's it's a great opportunity for you when she stops by because you can do your your Regis right. you do a great Regis and I've spent time with Regis yeah real time with Regis yeah. and uh, I think you have the best impression yeah well you know there's a little rumor that they had some sort of a bet um, who did uh, Regis and Kelly, Kelly. Um, some kind of a bet and that Regis the, if he lost he had to babysit uh, Kelly's kids, mm -hmm. which is chilling to think about. You know what I mean? Your mother's got nine shows on television. I'm here cleaning up poop. You did. Uh, you did President Bush. I think for the first. I didn't realize it was the first time. Yeah. Last week yeah. on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Here's the great thing about the Bushes. That they. And this is why I think they do well. They they are utterly themselves. They have to say it, what they think, as opposed to what a political advisor has told them to think. Right. Like Mr. Bush Sr. would visibly anger when someone wrote something too politically correct. Mm -hmm. And George Jr. takes it a step further. Sometimes he'll be in the middle of a sentence he doesn't like and just lose interest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'll just lose interest. Uh -huh. Like, I'm honored to be with the good folks who... Uh, uh, <laughs> and I'm fascinated by how mad he gets when he loses his place in the middle of a sentence because he's not mad that he lost his place. He's mad because he has to finish a sentence which he's already decided he doesn't like. <laughs> you see what I mean? He's like, we're working tirelessly to, uh, uh, look, we're tireless. <laughs> Of the Democratic uh, hopefuls, because there's a lot of them. Sometimes it's hard to keep them straight. They seem to have a, they're all jockeying for position. It's uh, it's very difficult to get a beat on these people. And this is their problem. They don't act like that for years. The weirdest phenomenon I've ever seen is that someone coaches these people to talk like Kennedys. Especially John, yeah, like John F. Kennedy. They all that that's he's the template for most of the Democratic candidates today. And, and when people aren't themselves, they're not powerful. They're not believable. But these guys are. They're going to do it again. God bless you. They're going to be like, well, you know, we must balance the budget before the year 2015, and we should know the reason why. 
That's, I mean, that comes from Kennedy's speech. We will bear any, uh, oppose any foe to ensure the survival and success of liberty. That's what, that's one line that they're left. We didn't make ballot the button. We didn't read it line. Boy, no one's doing that. They're kind of close, brother. <laughs> we I saw a couple why. of them the other day where they're going, we must balance the budget. Why? <laughs> why? You know, that they don't win. They never win. You know what is this thing, too, is I think someone realized that, have you noticed this, that all politicians now have to stick their thumb out and go like that when they make a point. Yeah. And they've got to make a point, and that's what they do. Right, but, but it's, it's just like, well, why does this show authority? Just a little thumb sticking out. It actually looks kind of weird. They, they can't do this because that means I'm taking sides. Like, that means, like, I don't want to... This is, this is too forceful. This is kind of muted. Clinton was the master of the mute. Clinton did this. He did this, which means he's like, yeah. yeah, he did. I'm so mad, but I'm not mad to the left or the right. I'm mad in the middle. <laughs> I'm so mad where everyone it's gets very mad. nice. It's where you put the hand, yeah. <laughs> now, you haven't, you haven't done Sean Connery in a while, and I, I, for one, believe that that's one of your best impressions. It's the, the single most of everything I've ever done. It's three times more popular than everything I ever did. And it's like, when I, I was in my office one night. You, it's when, because you, the classic is Sean Connery on uh, uh, yeah. Alex Trebek's uh, yeah. show. Which really didn't make any sense, you know. I was trying, I was in my office working, uh, trying to figure out an impression of him. And then my friend Will Farrell came in, and he was doing Alex Trebek. And for reasons which are not apparent to me, I turned to him and said, not a fan of the ladies, are you Trebek? <laughs> now, thereby creating my only niche in Western civilization. <laughs> because I always knew I'd go down for something. But I didn't think it would be for saying, I'll take famous titties for 600. <laughs> it's all with the John Connery charm. And you know he said it. You know Sean Connery. You know Sean Connery says things like that deep down. That's what I love about yeah, it. Man. Now, how is your family? Uh, everybody good? Well, everyone's fine. And congratulations to you on the new baby. Yeah, new baby. I'm excited about that. Sweet little girl. Were you, were you there for? Were you in the room? Was I in the room when the baby was born, yeah. or when it was conceived? Were yeah, I was there when it was. <laughs> Were you there? Uh, Were you there when it came out? The, yes, I was. Yes. The, the small creature coming out of a larger creature. What a romantic way to to, to coin it. Well, it I was like, it, thanks, larger creature, for providing us with this smaller creature. That's right. I don't care. That's when much, it was revealed that I'm an alien. <laughs> yeah, I don't care how much acid you've done. You had never seen anything like this. No, it's pretty intense when well, the baby comes out. Well, yeah. it's not even that romantic anymore, like you were saying. It's like you ask yourself, I believe, three questions. A, is there a God and does he like me? Mm -hmm. B, why didn't I know about any of this before? And C, why do so many people get to stick their fingers in my wife? <laughs> you got it. Well, no, no, there's, a, there's a line of them. There's a line of people uh, checking. Uh, it's true. Like, is this your? Can I just? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone. There's like a line of people there. Yes. I but, saw one guy I go. Who are you? He goes. I'm the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that guy, too, yeah. He was there. Well, this weekend, tennis star Andy Roddick is hosting Saturday Night Live with musical guest Dave Matthews. Daryl, always a pleasure having you here. Great, man. You illuminate. <laughs> this is Daryl Hammond, everyone. Shannon Doherty coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.